Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to add controller support to your game in Unity 3D without changing your code at all, assuming you're using the input.get button and input.get axis methods for input, which you should be. Um, you probably are. Uh, so I've got this sample scene set up here where I've got a cube, the camera attached, and a little player controller script. Just to show you what's going on here, I've got WASD to move around. Uh, we're turning with the x-axis of the mouse, and we got a little jump on the spacebar. So, if we go into the script, uh, first of all, these two lines are important. Everyone add those if you haven't added them already. <clears throat> those two lines of code will lock your cursor and make it invisible, um, so that when you turn your character, and if you happen to have two monitors, you don't then click into your other desk desktop and exit the game completely. It's a good thing to have. Um, but our player control will move the cube uh, according to the horizontal and vertical axes, uh, which come default set up to WASD and the arrow keys, I think. Uh, then we rotate the cube based on the x-axis of the mouse input and then if you press the jump button, we add a little force to make you jump. Uh, so one thing you'll notice, you can try this out with your own project if you have a, an Xbox controller or a not Xbox controller like I have. Um, if you open it up and you just move your left stick, you'll see that you do move around, but you don't turn. Um, Unity comes with it sort of half set up by default for some reason. Uh, but we're going to go see why that happens, and we're going to add our own inputs uh, to make the rest of it work. <clears throat> so these are the horizontal and vertical axes we're talking about. These are the keyboard setup, and you'll see there's another horizontal and vertical down here, which are joystick axes on the X and Y axes. Uh, and they have the same name, horizontal and vertical, which is why they're going through to the same input in your code. So from either input method, it'll be doing the same thing. Um, now the easy next one will be any buttons that we use, like in this case the jump button is on space. We've got another one here, which is set to joystick button 3. Now what button is that on the Xbox controller? We might have to do some research. Don't worry, I already did that. <clears throat> I'm going to link to this, uh, and it shows you all of the mapping to the buttons and the axes on the controller in Unity, which is great. So we're going to put jump on A, which is joystick button 0. So just change that to joystick button 0, move that out of the way. We'll see that we can jump with A. You can do that for any button that you're using in your script. Mouse. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, this gets a little wacky. Because there's no second setup in here for mouse X and Y, so we have to add our own. Uh, so this size value here is the size of this array of input values. A little weird. We're just going to increase that by two. We'll see that that just copies the last thing that's in there, which is cancel. So we have to sort of set this up ourselves. We're going to make this mouse X and mouse Y to use the same names and clear out the button values. And we're going to change this to joystick axis on both of these. And then, let's see, go back in here. I am linking to this image. Keep in mind, uh, every time I've used this, the axes for the right trigger, or sorry, the right uh, joystick are backwards. So we see four and five here. Actually, what happens for me is the horizontal axis is four and the vertical is five. Um, so we're just, just keep that in mind when you're looking at this. So how you put
put that in is we're using that mouse X here. So we're going to change where it says X axis to fourth axis. And mouse Y is fifth axis, even though it's not being used in this example. Basic setup there. So now if all has gone according to plan, we'll be able to move, we'll be able to turn, and we'll be able to jump. And that is pretty much most of what you're going to have to do in most cases. You may run into some things where you have to take into account the fact that a controller is being used instead of what you're expecting from the keyboard and mouse, and you may have to change some things in your script, but for like 99% of input, you can just do it right here in the input manager. Um, any other buttons that you have, like say you've, say you've added a, an interact button in this list, just add one more axis, change it to a joystick button. Uh, actually, it's not even a different it's key or mouse button and just change it to joystick button, whatever. Um, and then you're good to go. Uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, keep that in mind. Maybe think about doing it. it. It just adds a little bit of polish. It makes it a little more accessible to some people who prefer the controller. And some people um, will be more apt to keep playing your game. Uh, whereas if they go in and there's no controller support, someone might just close it out. People are like that. Um, and it's so easy to do, like I said, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Um, so that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait a second, you can subscribe to me, and you can follow me on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me uh, on the street if you see me walking. Uh, you can follow me... Uh, that's weird and we're not going to keep going with that. Follow me on stuff if you want, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.